So, may yung add daw sa inyong tanan. And uh, today, padahid na sa itong devotion sa Book of Luke. And na natakaroon sa chapter 8 verses 26 to 39. And ato ang focus verse karon is na sa verse 35. And the people went out to see what had happened. And they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone out, sitting at Jesus' feet, dressed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. So, on kini siya nga story is sumpay lang ni siya. When Jesus calmed the storm, they traveled uh, uh, to cross the Lake Galilee to the land of Garrison. And when they arrived, Jesus and his disciple encountered the worst possible case of demon possession. That this man for a long time had not worn clothes or lived in a house but had lived in the tomb. He was chained both hands and feet, controlled by demons and been slave for a long time. And he already lost his identity as a human. His so own kini nga condition is the end result when we give in sa ato ang sinful desire. In the story, he was met this demon-possessed man who cried and felt at his feet shouting, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? And begged not to torture him. And so we see that demons confessed and trembled about the identity of Jesus to be the Son of the Most High God. They know Jesus very well. Jesus showed his authority over demons and cast them out and put them onto the pigs and herds. And he started Jesus ang uh, healing aning uh, tawhana by asking, "What is your name?" And makita nato na ni tubag ang uh, demon he said legion because uh, there were many legions living on that man's body. And uh, Jesus cast them away and put them onto the uh, pigs and the herds. And that man was healed. And dira na musulod ang ato ang focus verse uh, na as a verse 35. And the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they found that man from whom the demons had gone out, sitting at Jesus' feet, dressed and in his right mind. So on the people see that the man they known before to be a demon possessed is now healed and in his right mind. They see the authority of Jesus casting out demons and permit them to enter into the pigs and herds. They see the pigs and herd rush down to the cliff and they see a man sitting at the feet of Jesus. So on, Jesus restored this man. From a man that could hardly find human, he restores the life of that man that was taken from him by that demon. By the power and authority of Jesus Christ in his life. Not anymore the demons, but Jesus. Nakita niya ang kagawasan sa ito ang ginuong Isokristo. Isundin na to makita na kay Jesus lamang kita. Kay Jesus lamang yun kita makaduol para, makapas- para mapasailo ang atong mga sala sa pagluhod sa iyang tiilan. And that man, when he was healed in reverence and humility, begged Jesus to follow him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, In verse 39, return home and tell how much God has done for you. So the man went away and told all over the town how much Jesus had done for him. And he returned home to be a living testimony sa iyahang pamilya, sa iyahang mga amigo, to tell them how God has done for him. And it became uh, muna ni Iyahang Nahimong Misyon sa Kinabuhi to preach 
and tell other people about Jesus. Iyahang life testimony of how he encountered Jesus sa iyahang kinabuhi. Nagsunod sa ato ang matunan ani nga story. Una, when we give in to sin, Satan could use it to destroy us and our identity with God. Ikaduha, Jesus was sent to restore our lost identity to God. Jesus did it on the cross. In 2 Corinthians 5, If anyone in Christ is a new creation, the old has gone and the new has come. In forgiveness, healing, freedom can only be found at the feet of Jesus on bended knees when we ask for forgiveness and so on. When we beg, ask Jesus to forgive us and cleanse us from our sin. So, on, isa sa maton na pagpod na to, green addition, is that our uh, testimony of how we met Jesus is a tool for us para magamit na to sa pagsangyaw sa maayong balita. Because this is unique to us. Muni ato ang story. Muni ang magpatinuod sa work of Jesus Christ. Ato ang testimony of how we met our Lord and Savior. I encourage you to own that uh, to tell other people how you met Jesus sa imong kinabuhi. And uh, how could we help other people to encounter Jesus. So on, padayon ta na magampo, padayon ta na magbasa o uh, Biblia. And together, uh, let us learn uh, more of Jesus. And I encourage everyone to really watch videos sa ito mga devotion and to learn more about the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. God bless everyone and have a nice day.